For almost 50 years, the elaborately costumed showgirls of the Folie Bergère have been a mainstay of Las Vegas. Next Saturday night, however, they'll dance the can-can for the last time, and the longest-running show in Vegas will close. It's hard to accept because it's, it's part of Vegas. Showgirl Janue Tournelle is among the hundred who work on the Follies who will lose their jobs. She's been in the show for 14 years. It's, it's tough. It's tough. You may be thinking about it all day, and then you come here and on with the makeup and the lashes, and you lip it, line it, and no one really knows what we're feeling, but it's, it's hitting right here. In a city where explosives are used to quickly get rid of the old, the Folie Bergère has remained a link to Vegas's earlier days. The show opened at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino in 1959. Since then, the showgirls have danced through some 29,000 performances. Elaine Solario, now the entertainment director at the Tropicana, started as a showgirl herself 26 years ago. 15 years on stage. Kicking high. Kicking high, smiling, <laughs> um, and having a good time. It was a great time. We had a great run. A run that's coming to an end largely because Las Vegas has been hit hard by the troubled economy. A dose of reality for a city that never before seemed to have trouble with money. It was recession proof. People would come here to get away from their problems. It didn't happen this time. It's not that way. Janu Tornell, who was a competitor in one season of the CBS show Survivor, is already working on surviving the loss of her showgirl career. In the dressing room, she marks papers for her new part-time job as a language teacher. In between numbers, I'm grading my papers. Still, it won't lessen the pain, she says, of that final curtain. It's saying goodbye to something that, you know, it's so, so special, so. Sorry. <laughs> For almost 50 years, there have only been smiles on stage at the Folie Bergère. Next Saturday night, there are likely to be tears. John Blackstone, CBS News, Las Vegas.